Okay, so here's a Walgreens logo. Just got it from the internet. And what I'm gonna do is image trace it in Illustrator to make it a vector file. So I'll go in here, image trace. That's not bad. Bring the pass up. Corners. There we go. Not too bad. I'm just go into object, image trace, and then expand it. And now it's paths. And I'm going to bring it up in size. Do some cleanup. Got to make sure that these get deleted. And there we go. I'm going to save this as a Walgreens logo and Illustrator file. Now the thing about Adobe Aero is that it, it does pretty well bringing in Photoshop files, but they've got to be really big. Now so what I'm going to do is create a, an A4 size print document right here that's going to be that many pixels big. I'll make it landscape. This is important too. 300 resolution. 300 DPI. And we really need actually a lot of um, size. This is going to be even bigger actually. And I'll show you why. So if we bring in the Walgreens logo that is an Illustrator file. Now we can place it as large as we want and export a really big document. I go in here, and delete this. So the image size right now is 3500 by 2400 pixels, about 300 resolution. You know, we could actually, I'm gonna just take this one and make this one 3508. Whenever, however large the other one is, just to blow it up even larger. So now it's pretty big. And I'm going to call this Walgreens logo A4 large. Now it's an image file, but it's, it was created from a vector file. And we made it really big. So now we have that. And I want to drag this also into the Adobe Creative Cloud files right here. So we go in here, Walgreens logo, A4 large. I can just drag that into here, into the Walgreens ad. You can see it's being uploaded. Now it's only two megabytes, which is pretty good. And hopefully it's going to be large enough and we'll see. So now we have all the four elements. We have the LED screen, the text, the call to action, and the logo that we can then bring into Adobe Aero. So in the next section, uh, we'll go into Adobe Aero and I'll show you the process for creating a scene.